Hey everybody and welcome back to the Creative Collector. So the kind people from X Tools sent me over their F1 portable laser engraver. Now I have never done anything with lasers. This is a very virgin experience for me. I've been working with this thing for quite a while. I've been trying to make this video for quite a while. But uh, let me tell you a little bit about this machine here. It's super impressive. So first off, this laser is super fast at 4,000 millimeters per second. And it also features two different types of powerful lasers all in one machine. You have your diode laser and you also have your infrared laser. Because of this, it can pretty much print on almost any material. So the diode laser can actually engrave clear and dark lines on materials like wood, leather, glass, rock and paper and additionally the 10 watts of power enable the f1 to cut through up to eight millimeters of wood and five millimeters of acrylic this thing is awesome and the infrared laser expands all of its engraving capabilities to include all metals and plastics broadening the range of materials that can be engraved and the f1 has ultra hd resolution and super accuracy with a 0.00199 millimeter motion accuracy. And the X-Tool also has the Creative Space software that you can use online, you can use on your PC, you can use on your phone, whichever you'd like to. And it's also compatible with Lightburn, which is another engraving software for different laser cutters. I mean, this thing is insane. You could literally spend days, weeks, months trying to learn this and probably still not capture everything that you need to know about it. I mean, there's all kinds of different attachments that you can get with it. There's like a cylinder lathe where you can print like tumblers and engrave on different cylinder type of, of things. I mean, the possibilities are just endless. So within their catalog, I can pull up any image that I would like to see. I can do it as line art or however I want. And this one here, I just did a search for Spider-Man and popped it up here. And you can actually go over to this area right here and you can uh, adjust everything if you'd like. And then once you get ready to go, you're going to put your canvas. I'm just going to use this piece of wood here, put it up underneath here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to process this thing. And bam, that's what it's going to look like on to this right here. Once we get it lasered on, hit start. And now it's sending the file for processing. Fire the laser! So while that did take 6 minutes and 57 seconds, that's still pretty quick to engrave a scene as intricate as this right here. Alright, let's see what we got here. That could be burned just a little bit deeper, I guess, and you can adjust the settings on that. So this actually has predetermined settings as far as what material you're gonna be using, or you can just kind of do your own. It's actually still pretty cool that it can do this and uh, produce a scene like this, which is pretty neat. Um, and again, if I adjusted the uh, this laser a little bit more, it would probably dig in a little bit better and a little bit more a uh, little bit more intricate. But again, this is thing is a learning curve. Uh, I've been playing around with it for quite some time now, and uh, it's still pretty cool to uh, see all of the possibilities that you can do with it. So I did forget to hit record on my phone but I did uh, engrave this right here, this little monochromatic thing, if you could see how that kind of does. That is another really cool project that this machine does uh, with a metallic type business card. So it also has a framing feature on here, so that way you can actually get the image right in the center of whatever you are going to be engraving, and like you can see right here, this little bitty tiny pendant. 
cool little uh, Punisher skull pinned in here. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty pretty neat right there on a uh, little metal tag. Like dog tags, you could print your own little dog tags, whichever you want to do. And if you don't think for one minute that this thing does not suck up fumes, think again, look at this. Yeah, so it gets all of those nasty little particles and everything trapping this big HEPA filter here. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. There's really no smell at all with this because everything gets sucked up into this filter here. Uh, but this is a real genius idea, like if you want to use it in small compact areas, such as an apartment or a small bedroom. Now check this out. So I collect one six scale figures, and look at that. Ah, print you like your own little logo or picture or whatever like that in here. Now granted, this is black plastic. That's etched, but that's still pretty cool. Uh, and uh, I guess if I get really good, I can print something on the nameplate here. But that is something else you could do. You could also use this right here to maybe print some like your logo or something like that into the bottom of your statue bases. Uh, but that's for another time as I get more experience on this machine. Now the retail on this thing is about $15.99 I think right now. Uh, it is a pretty expensive machine, however, if you have a need for this machine, I mean it's definitely something to look into. Uh, if you're creating like gifts, uh, you have a business or something of the sort, you're selling on Etsy or another site or something like that, this could really benefit you and I think the payoff is going to end well for you. Now another cool thing that you could do is if you're a cosplayer and if you're using FDM to make your cosplay parts, your different suits and helmets and things like that, this could be something that you could use to identify your work, put your logo, uh, your name or something like that onto there. You could also do all kinds of different uh, like numbers and letters. I mean, it's just the possibilities are endless of things that you could do for this. So I want to thank the people from Xtool for sending this over to me to toy around with. I'm definitely gonna have some more fun with it and learning its capabilities and different processes. Uh, and think of some ways that I can incorporate it more into my 3D printing. And I do want to thank my Patreon members as well because without them, I couldn't make these videos. If you wanna become a member of the Patreon, the link is below in the description. And don't forget, we do have Model of the Month and we do have our own private Discord where you can come over and it's toxic free and you can have fun uh, talking with other members in the group and sharing your works and getting ideas and uh, sharing ideas. And as always, everybody stay safe out there. Don't forget, get out and create something. Print, prep, paint, engrave, repeat. And until the next video, everybody, we'll see you.